Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Stars by Grace Potter and the Nocturnals. And it starts on an A minor chord, and the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from there, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And the way you play F major, if you know the bar F major, you take your first finger and kind of put them across the entire first fret. Second finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. Third finger on the A on the third fret. And the pinky goes underneath that on the D on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times, if you're just starting out, bar chords can be kind of difficult. So a good substitute for that chord is something I call F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, same place he is for A minor. The second finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the D on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, just the top four strings, that'll give you a clear sound out of that. That's called F major 7, and it sounds really, really heavy. And then for our intro and a lot of our verses, we're going to be going from the F to a C major. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to actually stay on the B on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord. And from the beginning, we, we, we kind of just repeat that a lot. We got A minor, F major, C major, C major, A minor, F major, C major, C major. Now, one way to kind of make that a little bit more interesting is to add a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite 4-4 four, four strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if we just take the A minor and just tried that a lot, and we'll talk about another strum pattern in a, in a minute for it that, that seems a little bit more like it matches the tune. But just to try it this way, you take the A minor and go down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down. try that a lot just to kind of get used to it but then to try that through our intro part we got a minor with down down up up down f down down up down c down down up up down c down down up up down a minor down down up up down f down down up up down c down down up up down c down down up up down up and then we get our verses we're actually starting the same way we got a minor down up up down F down down up up down C down down up up down C down down up up down A minor down down up up down F down down up up down C down down up up down C down down up up down up. But then in, in the verse we're gonna be going to a G major chord, and the way you play G major, we're gonna put first finger on the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, and the third finger goes to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And, and there's some moving basses on this, and we'll talk about how you can add those in a, in a minute. But we're going to take the G major and just kind of try that same strum pattern. So then in the verse, you got G down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we go back to A minor, down, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, and then we do a big G, which is the down, and then we get to our chorus part, and our chorus, we start on our C major chord, but then we go to an E minor chord, and the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that makes an E minor chord, and then we're going to be going to A minor again and then go into F major. And that's a lot of our chorus. So just to try the chorus with our strum pattern, we got C down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down. with a down and then an A minor with a down. And then 
then we'd be back to our verse and then, and then kind of back to our chorus. But the, the only other part that is slightly different is when we get to our solo part, we, we've got an A minor chord and another A minor, and then we go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high or the skinny on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, like we're doing with the F major seven, that'll give you your clear sound out of D major. And that sounds really, really happy. So on our solo part, well, we got the A minor, we're down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, D major, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, G, 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 down, down,
then something you can add at the end of, of the verses is, is it sounds like they're doing a G chord but with an F in the bass. So it looked like G slash F. And the way you would play that chord is if you play low E on the first fret and then third fret on the high E, you could kind of play low E for the bass and get an F note out of it and then do your down, down, down. move right after that where we would do a G slash E where you would do the G chord but with an E bass and then kind of do, do your open E for the bass on that and then and then there's something called G slash D where we'd have a G string or a G chord with a D bass so we kind of use the D string for that and I'm doing my strums on just the kind of the top string so I can I'm kind of cheat it so on that move you got G with the low E bass down down G slash F with the low E bass down down G with G slash E with the low E bass down, down, G slash D with a D bass. Down, down, down. And so I'm kind of cheating that a little bit, but I think it sounds a lot like the tune that way. So just to try that through your verse, you'd have A minor with the bass. Down, down, up to F with the bass. Down, down, C with the bass on the A. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, down, F with the D bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down. Then we do a G with a low E bass. Down, down, G slash F. Down, down, and then A minor with the A bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, down, G with the low E bass. Down, down, G slash F with the low E bass. Down, down, G slash E with the low E bass. Down, down, G slash D with the D bass. Down, down, and then we'd be back to it to, um, then we'd be in our chorus, and so then you have the C with the A bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, down, F with the bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. doing the A bass, down, down, F with the bass, down, down, C with the A bass, down, down, C with the A bass, down, down, up, A minor with the A bass, down, down, F with the bass, down, down, C with the A bass, down, down, C with the A bass, down, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, G slash F with the low E bass, down, down, up, G, and then, oh, but then we got A minor with the A bass, down, down, A minor with the A bass, down, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, G slash F, down, down, G slash E, down, down, G slash D. And then we can be back to our chorus again where we got the C with the A bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, down, F with the bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, down, F with the bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, G with the low E bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, down, F with the D bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, G with the low E bass. Down, down, we gotta get our stop on A minor with a big down. And then a G, and then a C major at the end of that chorus. And then we go into our solo part. We got the A minor with the A bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. Down, down, D major with the D bass. Down, down, D with the D bass. Down, down, A minor with the A bass. C. 
So that's the basics of how you can play stars, but there's a really cool solo that kind of comes in. So just to walk through a little bit of the solo licks that come in, you've got sort of a lead into the solo where you do an 8th fret on the B, and then 10th fret on the B, and then 8th fret on the B, and then 10th fret on the G, and then 9th fret on the G, and then 10th fret on the G, and then 9th fret on the G. So that's kind of your lead in is that. But then from there, we kind of go into the main solo where you got 10th fret on the B, and then 7th fret on the high E, and then 8th fret on the high E, and then you go to 7th fret on the B, and then 9th fret on the G, and then 7th fret on the B, and then 9th fret on the G, and then 7th fret on the G. But then we're gonna, we go to the D string and kind of play 9th fret and do a bend on that where you kind of press in and pull down on the string or pull up on the string. And then we go back to 7th fret on the D. So we got 10, 7, 8, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, bend, 7. But then that kind of comes back where you got 10 on the B, 7 on the high E, 8th fret on the B, high E, 7th fret on the B, 9 on the G, 7 on the B, 9 on the G, 7 on the G, and then 9 fret bend. Seven. But then we kind of go in, in, into our, or the second part of the solo where you got 7th fret on the D, and then 9th fret on the D, and then 10th fret on the D, and then 9th fret on the G. So 7, 9, 10, 9. But then we go back to the D on the 9, 10. But then we go to, to the 7 on the G. And then we go to 8th fret on the B. But then we go to 10 on the G and then 8th fret on the B, and then 10th fret on the B, and then 8th fret on the high E, and then there's a really quick hammer-on pull-off where, where you go to 7th fret on the high E and play 7, but do a hammer-on to 8, and then let him do a pull-off to 7. So you got, so back on the 7, you got 7, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 7, 8, and then 10, 8, 7, 8, 7, hammer on pull off. And then 8, 10, and then we just go crazy on the E string. We go to 12th fret on the high E, 13 on the high E, 15 on the high E, 17th fret on the high E, 9th fret, 19th fret on the high E, and then 20th fret on the high E. So that, that's a little crazy, but just to kind of try that whole thing from that walk up. You got 7, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 7, 8, 10, 8, 7, 8, 10, 12, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20. So I think that's kind of a cool solo to work on too. But that's the basis of how you would play Stars by Grace Potter and the Nocturnals. So good luck!